This is a quick look at Windows 10 on a Supermicro Super Server. NVIDIA GPU is in there, so it downloaded this driver and you get this 3D Vision thing. So let's get rid of that. All right, let's look at disk. Let's look at device manager, display adapters. We've got this NVIDIA that I'm not using right at the moment. I'm using the Microsoft Basic display adapter, which is really a VGA driver that can be replaced. So you may notice that all the stuff in Windows 10 settles down. You get all the um, inf chipset drivers, everything but 10 gig. And you also do not get a decent driver for your video, meaning if we try to crank up the display settings, um, we don't get very far and it's grayed out. So I wanna show you the fix. So here we go. I'm gonna to go to uh, the only browser that comes on Windows 10 <laughs> that I can assume you will have. And I'm gonna search for uh, Okay, so that's my motherboard, and it should bring me to the super micro site, including downloads from the motherboard. And there we go. Download the latest. This is the part that's a little weird. Let me show you. Microsoft. Windows. Don't pick Windows 10. VGA, and that is the weird way you're going to get a hold of the download that you need. Okay, once that's done, we'll install it, we'll reboot it, and then we'll have the ability to have much higher resolutions, even through IPMI, which is this uh, Java IKVM viewer that's pointing to the management interface of my Supermicro motherboard. So that's really it for my tip. It's that easy once you know where to look to get yourself a better resolution. And uh, to prove my point that this is not something device manager will pick up on even if you try to do one of these right click update automatic you don't get anything so you really do need this driver i'm going to open that up now that's such a good idea i want to extract them so let's extract everything And now you know why it was such a big download. There's a lot of stuff in there. Okay, Windows 10 64-bit sounds good. So I'm gonna just go ahead and you know, get that in my path. So I can minimize or well, I can close all those windows really. Back to Device Manager, here we go. Right click, Update, Browse. Right click. Paste, now we have the proper path. Install, screen flickers, which is what Windows is supposed to do. And we now have the new driver. In fact, we have it immediately. No reboot was even needed. And we can crank it up and fill the screen. Is there a newer one available? So now that we have it there, what if update would give us a newer one? Let's have a look. Display adapters, right click, update. Does anything happen? And the answer is no. So at this moment in time, which is March 2016, this is the driver you got from July of last year. So hopefully you found this little tip helpful, particularly if you work in IPMI for any length of time and you're tired of that tiny little window you get by default. Thank you for watching. And thank you for visiting tinkertry.com.